What's up guys? Thanks for tuning back in to Blanco Bronco Adventures and on this episode we're here trying to fix Bronco Man 6's Bronco still. Tell you what, Ford's got a forever back order on parts. If you fall I'm gonna laugh and we can't find parts for the differential. But luckily there's bad drivers out there and we found a total Bronco about five hours away from us. We're going to steal the front end out of that Bronco. Well, we're not gonna steal it, because that's wrong. Well, we're gonna try, but we'll probably buy it. So, join us on this adventure as we go pick up some parts, and then we're getting back to the shop, and we're, we're going to the shoot at some point. Let's go. Part of the Google machine, we're just about here. I can start seeing wrecked cars out here. Somewhere in there, we've got a new 6th Gen Bronco that's calling our name. So here it is, guys. We found clean one owner. You know, ever been in an accident, it's fine. Don't look too close. This Bronco's worth about a million dollars. The fact of the matter is, you can't get parts for these just off Ford's shelf yet. So, start searching junkyards. It's few and far between, but they are starting to pop up. We are here at Safari Auto Wrecking in Yelm, Washington. Now, we're trying to get a few parts off the Bronco as spares. We know we're here for the differential for old Bronco Mass 6's Bronco. We gotta get four wheel drive again. So, we're gonna get that. Also, the Bronco Bronco, you know, we didn't. We need that other skid plate for, I think it's the transfer case. It's there, so we're gonna try to get that. There's some running boards, a uh, steering rack. We might as well try that. Bronco Man 6 had the best idea. He's like, hey, these seats would be pretty cool in an early Bronco, right? Right, so we're gonna try to get some seats out of this guy too, but give you a walk around here and this thing is just in bad shape. I Just a I think honestly the two best things with this Bronco still are the doors. They're in good shape. This one took a little bit of damage right there, but the doors are definitely the yeah. best thing this far other than the tail light. Now the precision here is key on picking up a wrecked Bronco, getting it into the shop, and that's where they're gonna disassemble it. They got you covered. Call them up, they'll even pull the parts for you. We're gonna link them down below, somewhere in here. Watch that Bronco. Head to the, it just hurts my, hey, we should lift a Bronco that high. Man, that thing took a hit. I just, the Blanco Bronco better never ever look like that, you know, as much as it, wow. There it is, guys, pulling out brand new to us parts. What a score on finding this wrecked Bronco. So we're just taking Bronco Man 6's seats for a ride, and well, I think it's pretty good. Your, uh, your, your headrest is kind of like... I'm good now. It's fine. Lean back. This seat's got, you know, the pump me up mode. You know, manual addition. How's it go up? What are we doing? We're just hanging out at Safari, Safari Junkyard. 
auto wrecking. It's a great time. Is this what the shoot's like? The shoot's like, I mean, more like, almost like this. <laughs> shoot. Going back to the shoot. Brand new to us. Differential. What's this? The M210? M210. Look at that. That With is the a intermediate shaft and this not broken. Not broken. Plus we got some other goodies while we we're here. Worked out pretty well. I'll tell you what, you guys check out Safari Auto Wrecking. There's your information right there. These guys hooked us up solid. But wait, Bronco Man 6. We forgot. We gotta go get your seats. Well, those seats are cool. Those seats are awesome. Early Bronco waits. Yeah. Making positive progress forward with parts. We got our parts. We're going back to the shoot. Shoot. <laughs> shoot, we're coming. <laughs> so we got the front differential. We got some seats. Got some seats. I'm excited about the seats. Got some skid plates. Skid plates for you. And we got CV driver side cv might as well have an extra one you know might as well and uh oh we even got a hold of bronc buster and he bought the transmission out of the bronco and potentially the frame if you come across wreck broncos well it's a community thing right hook a homie a fella up yeah. you know yeah it's, that's what it's about so now we got like five hours home mm -hmm. and then and tomorrow we'll put that back together yeah it's gonna be exciting. Four wheel drive again, what's that gonna be like? I don't know. Man, two wheel drive Bronco was cool though. It was difficult, but it was cool. <laughs> Let's get on the road. It's gonna be a job, but that's fine. We're back here with our new to us differential out of that wrecked Bronco. Now, it's gonna breathe new life into the wild pony. We gotta get this thing back on the road. We got car shows to win. Yeah, street credit, something, go fast. Four wheel drive, we need it is what I'm saying. Four wheel drive is important in a Bronco. If you don't have four wheel drive, why do you have a Bronco? We rebuilt this last night off camera. By that, I mean we painted it, so it's new. We're gonna start with just putting it up in there, bolting it in, and then we're gonna pick a side and just start putting it back together all along, okay? Take notes. So when your diff comes up in here, we've got our electrical plug in for our locker. You gotta have lockers. And then way back in here, there's two bolts that come through into the differential. And then you have one bolt, aluminum housing on this side. Also, you've got a breather line that hooks up. Don't forget it. And then down here, you have another bracket that the diff actually bolts into right here. So, fairly self-explanatory if you just follow the bolts. Dave's the real man in the situation. Whoa. <laughs> Hold it, don't lose it. See how there's no, no metallic material? on that one let's keep it that way all right no promises did you hear me in there you little shaft don't break so I, i'm really really proud of you guys and all the hard work you've done on the channel mm -hmm. and i really in enjoyed the install videos the recent you know, oh, whips. Whips. Yeah. Woo. Ouch. Yeah. I really Ow. enjoy those videos, and I think mm. the way you do them is so <laughs> great. But when we're in the shop, do we have to be that, like... Oh, like PC? Yes. Oh. Well, beep, 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 beep. No, we don't. I appreciate that. Ha <laughs> 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 ha. <I'm such> <laughs> At least you don't care. <laughs> well, I know you care. Remember when you almost rented that car going to King of the Hammers? What you it? had me. I had your yeah. back, Luke. No, you had my front. <laughs> <laughs> I had a full hand. Before. You did, yeah. <laughs> so we're going down the road, and I don't know what happened. We were we were talking about the early Bronco. Uh, I get excited. Early Broncos. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> I almost rented a car oh. with this on a trailer. Yeah. And what did I do? Yeah, he held me. I did. Yeah. 
What are friends for? I, you can't question my love. No. It's like we've been together for longer than six months. <laughs> yeah. When's our anniversary? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Moses like? Moses like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now that that's in there, let's just put this up in the thing. Let's Ready? put it on the creeper and drag it in. Ready? I've always wanted to do this. Ready? Mm -hmm. Well, so your differential's in. Now we just got to snug it all up with the, you know, tools, you know. Boom, like movie magic. It's like we know what we're doing. We don't. We have no idea. Please. We're just figuring it out. The differential's now up in there. Up in here? Up in there. Now, we're just going to start on the passenger side. We're going to just put it back together. You know what I'm saying? Then, we're going to go try some four-wheel drive, out, you know, stuff out in the pasture. So, let's get started on this side. Come on. Uh, need the bolts for the coil over. And get that in. Then we'll take the knuckle off. Those are heavy. Real heavy. So now I've got to direct it up over the lower and then also feed in this. Okay, there's that. Let's do let's do that first. Okay. There. We're getting close enough. We're just gonna test the, you know four by four feature in a Bronco before we, you know, get committed and put the wheels back on. So we're just gonna scooch the rear tires up in the air and do the wrong thing and put it in four wheel drive while it's on jack stacks. It's fine. There will be no ABS light on when we open that door. I guarantee it. I don't get, I can't guarantee it, but I'm going to try. Sounds good. Shoot. <laughs> Here's what I think. We throw the wheels on it and go and drive it around. Do you want to take the ABS sensor out? We could do that before. Sensors. Yeah. Accessible? Accessible. It's definitely shifting. Right. The body control module still El pissed. The only thing um, we can go drive it and then go somewhere and plug in a new thing. Have them reset it. it. We have to well, do ourselves. Yeah. Reset everything and then see what happens. See what happens. But we do have four wheel drive. We got four wheel drive back. It's yeah. progress. No, we're there. Remember when I said I couldn't guarantee it? I couldn't guarantee it. It worked. Yeah. Yeah, we did that part, now right? it's just smarter than us. And that, yeah. That's not hard. That's not hard? Right. Being smarter right. than us? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's not funny. Well, I thought it was funny. Hey, but if there's two of us, are we smarter than her? No. I know. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't try. Well, she's smart about one thing. Hmm. She married me. Oh. She's got a bunch of broken Broncos. <laughs> So what's she really smart? <laughs> right. All right, let's do this. We're just going to go drive it and hopefully it's how feels. We'll let you know. So good news, bad news. We have four-wheel drive. Um, there's no engine codes. Unfortunately, the reader that we had available to us doesn't recognize the Bronco, so I couldn't get into the ABS system. Everything's working, um, except for the front locker is actually not working, um, and we're not sure why. Um, at this point, I, I don't know what more we can do. Uh, ABS, ABS light is still on. Um, traction control is not working. Yeah, everything. Um, it does shift and does go into four-wheel drive, um, but at this point, uh, this this damn thing is, is smarter than us. So, in there, we got to put it on a scanner. It keeps popping up the whole Bronco with an exclamation point. 
That's not right. We know it's a Bronco. We're excited about that too. But take away the lights, you know? <laughs> so, we're just going to have to do another update after it goes and gets scanned. I'm done with updates. <laughs> this is a two part video. Go check out our first part. It's when we found out we needed the parts. It's going to be a 10 part video before it's done. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Bronco. The story of Carnage of the Wild Pony. And that going broke fixing it. <laughs> We're going to lose the shop if we don't fix it. We're going to lose the shop. It's right there. It's brand new. Get off your couch and go create an adventure. We'll update you in the next time. Just don't break during your adventure. It's not fun. Yeah. Rock to Adventures.